Hello, welcome to another video, Stay Outside and Explore. This is my 2016 Infiniti QX80. Today, we're gonna put a cabin filter in over here. So, start doing that. If it's a little too, okay, I gotta get, go down a little bit here so you guys can see what's going on that's about it so first of all we got to remove this bottom panel and this should come off pretty easy and then you remove the light the little light there this comes off you just want to let that hang and then I'm gonna move the camera so then you want to remove oh, let me get some light up here remove there should be three but this one's missing three of these bolts this is a t20 star We'll remove those to get to the air cabin filter. And what was funny is the last time I took this vehicle in to get an oil change, which that'll be another video. Um, the place I took this into, they says, oh, we can't do your filter. And I was like, I was wondering why. Well, now that I researched it, now I know why. Because you need some tools. Like other cars, all you have to do is like pull the glove box inward and it pops out like my wife's car. So they don't want to mess with this because it's a little time consuming, which that's fine. So we're going to do that and I think there's other, is there other bolts underneath here oh yeah there's <laughs> excuse me I'm gonna put the seat back a little bit further so I got a little bit more room and then there's bolts or the same star stuff is down below here. I'm trying to get position here so you guys can see it. Maybe what I'll do is um, take the camera off the tripod and then I'll let you see it. So hang tight. All right, I took the camera off the tripod, kind of giving you an idea of what bolts are. There are one one here, one here, and I believe one there. So let's take those off to get you right there. All right, removing those should we give us access to the cabin filter. All right, now that we got those removed, let's see what happens here. I've never done this before, so let's put some light up here. I believe. So. does light is 
a little bright. There we go. It's coming apart real easy, sort of. I don't get this. There we are. I don't know what that is, but so there's a the cabin filter. Let's just see what that is. Here's the cabin filter. Right there. And uh, now I know why they didn't want the company didn't want to do that. So, again, let me take you off the, well, let's see, maybe I can, can you see that okay? All right, now, just two tabs. Got that off. Okay, the airflow goes up. And now I have to take it out. There we go. It's coming out. It's coming out. Eh, it's not too dirty. Not too dirty. So this one is... Made in Mexico so the one that I got says it's CV 10743 let's see if this is the same size that's what they said it was gonna be when I looked it up this is a Fram true air okay And it looks like it's the same size. Well, this one's just a hair smaller, but it'll work. The airflow goes up. That arrow, I don't know if you can see it. The arrow's pointing up. So, let's put it in. Put the compartment back in. It snaps right in. Okay. Let's get rid of the old stuff right now. So we got a little more room. And now let's. It's starting to get dark out, that's why. Let's try to. Put everything back together the way it was. This should be fun, right? And I gotta see what happened here. Oh, it just, you can see it just snaps right in. Good thing I cleaned out the glove box. I don't know what kind of sensor that is. Okay, pop back in. As you can see, oh, it just popped right back out. It's it's easy. Okay, 
pop back in. So now we have to put, I have to put the, everything back the way it was. And I think by putting the top screws here, now I just gotta find out Gotta put it in there. Everything has a snap, right? Let me see on the side here. Yep. See if that lines up. It's not lining up yet. If I tell you, if I worked by putting this on down the assembly line, I wouldn't have a job. Okay, so that goes there. And then this goes... snaps okay it looks like that screw is ready so I'm gonna put you down there you can kind of see so let's put start the first star screw once we get that in the rest should fall into place in I wouldn't be surprised if I have to redo this let's see what the bottom looks like yeah she's not let's see what the bottom looks like You know what happened? <laughs> Dumbass. I'm such a... What the... There, let's pull this out. I got... I wonder why I couldn't go in there. There. Now maybe... I had the bottom tree stuck in there. Ay, ay, ay. Good thing... I shouldn't quit my day job, right? Okay. Now. So 
It's not lining up right here. Okay, that that up there is okay. Sorry if you can't see much. It's like I said, it's getting dark out. I didn't think this was gonna be a thought it was gonna be easier than it was. So I got these two screws in. I don't understand why that is so hard now to let me take a look now at the bottom here. I think it's probably best for me to get everything back in order and then I'll I'll uh, put the camera back on and then show you. I got everything back to where it is. There's one bolt there, one bolt there, and one bolt there. This comes down a lot easier. And the bolt there, and the bolt there. So, what happened is over here, there's three tabs, mosquito. One, two, and three. I had this side lined up, but I didn't have this side lined up. So I took everything back apart. It only took me a couple more minutes. I lined this all up, popped in. This popped in almost like a glove, fit in a hand. And then I looked down below, down here, and yep, one, two, three. So all I have to do is put this piece back on, put the light back in, and we got the cabin filter plugged in. So, lesson learned, next time I have to do this, I'll know better on how to do it. It was the first time, the first time was a charm. So let me put this all back together and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, let's open it up. You can see I got everything all put back together. You can see the light is all back. I'll give you some more light so you can see that I'm not. This piece back up here was one, two, three. So let's go start it up and see how the cabin filter reacts. Starting it up. Let's turn on the air conditioning because it's a little warm. It's a different kind of smell to it, but you know that's okay. Got the air on. I don't hear no noises that I installed it wrong or the motor is, you know, it's clogged in the motor, so, all right, I think that should do it for this video, this was a learning experience for me, hopefully I can uh, help someone else learn how to do this, if they want to do it, it's not that bad, um, and I think the air filter, cabin filter was like 10 bucks, at Walmart so not sponsored at any means but just to let you know all right appreciate everybody watching subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos coming up real soon thanks for watching